The biggest thing for me is that, and it's an easy one to say, it's sometimes harder to do because it can be uncomfortable, but you have to put the athlete first. And the athlete has to be at the centre of all of our decision making. And sometimes that requires absolute honesty to an athlete where they're going to hear things they don't necessarily want to hear and they're completely uncomfortable with. And you have to be able to provide that message to them. Young athletes come into the high performance environment. They should be able to achieve to their maximal in boxing performance, but they should leave this unit and go into the next phase of their life as more complete people um, and with a set of skills where they can pretty much head in any direction they want. So it's a huge responsibility, but yeah, that, that whole thing for me is what is in the best interest of the athlete. Up! Two punches, one sleep. Throw to your shoulder, sir. A mindful coach should create his own uh, high performance. That means system. What system is about? To look all what sportsman needs. Sportsman needs good, uh, skillful coach, good communication skills, uh, no coach, very positive coach who can keeps them happy, keeps them, keep them motivation. Another thing is what is important in sport is proper energy, where from comes, from food, proper nutrition. Again, good coach, always good psychologist. Part of my coaching philosophy would be to create a safe environment where athletes can reach their full potential. I think that in itself speaks for itself. So um, if we have a, an environment where a positive environment where they feel they can flourish, that's when we'll get the best out of them. Uh, well, working with the coaches on a daily basis is amazing. You, you build a relationship with them. Not only obviously in the ring, but when you're away in training camps, you're, you're living with these people like 24 seven all the time. So you have to ha be able to have a really good relationship. And I think like even on the day of a fight, the coach knows you inside out. So do you need to be serious or do you need to be funny? So you do, you build a bomb on them. And I think especially like when you're away at big tournaments and winning major medals, um, I know it means a lot to me, but for them as well, it means a lot. And that's like memories I'll have for life. It's probably with the coaches. I see them as more than I see my family. So you have to have a really good bond with the coaches. High performance uh, outside of the ring has helped me massively because for me, high performance is doing the small things right. It's not always about training or performing. It's, it's doing the little things right. Body, head, head, body, okay? Boxer number two, try to see what? Close, slip roll, sometimes go close, okay? Improvement, involvement, improvement and improvement. Get there, get there, get there. That's what it's about. And uh, improve your mindset. Mindset. That is a key for the sustainable success. And many, many, many factors there. Number one is uh, best thing is the culture. Culture based from many things, from traditions, from home, from community where you are. You know, culture means behavior mostly how you behave, how punctual you are, how positive you are, how motivated you are, how you can understand different people, you know, how you can break negative inside you to be strong, because life is about battle between negative and positive. And I know only in positive state of mental strength you can perform best. And so I think what has really helped boxing and, and more and more we are exploring this would be the use of performance analysis, in particular video capture, um, the ability to look at our fights and rate and score performance and then feed that back directly to the athletes, the ability to capture footage within training sessions and again debrief athletes around technical development, tactical development. Um, there are always many toys out there for coaches um, to look at using, but you almost need to identify those two or three things. Um, and I would say looking at boxing, uh, the one tool that I believe is really impactful and is going to be very valuable leading into the Olympic Games is how we use video footage. Just last night, um, myself and, and Zar were reviewing potential opponents for the upcoming Olympic Games. I mean, we have a great backroom staff here. We have a performance analysis guy who does a lot of work behind the scenes. So 
we're constantly evolving our, our, our techniques and methods um, of how we can get better. Um, the head coach here is a very creative man, an unbelievably creative man. Um, and he has so many innovative ideas. Um, and it's great to be in the presence of him because he is such a creative man that you're learning every single day. No two days are the same here. And you're learning every single day you're with him. So that on its own, um, what for me is what makes Irish boxing, um, I don't want to say head and shoulders above everybody else, but yeah, we are heading in that right direction. And that is one of the things, is the creativity from, from, from Zara himself. But again, the, there is that backroom staff that are constantly working in innovative ways that we can get better all the time. And one of them is performance analysis, who has developed some exciting techniques. At the moment today, we had great, very good atmosphere in the team. Everybody looking for improvement. Everybody tries, not competition, but contribution to each other. We have very good managers, we have very good high performance here. Coaches are fantastic at the moment, pool coaches, everyone working together. But nobody knows how difficult time we had when there was negative things, but we break this. Because again, culture, again, proper approach, again, teamwork. Teamwork will change everything. As performance director, it's all about being able to implement the plan that we have agreed that will qualify us as many athletes as possible for Paris. We would love to qualify the highest team, the biggest team ever to represent Ireland. And we believe that that is achievable. From that qualification, it's then about winning medals. So it's getting our boxers through the rounds, navigating the rounds, getting them into finals and into podium position. So that's my goal to make sure that the plan is in place, the plan can be followed, and we give the athletes, the coaches, the best possible opportunity for qualification and performance. If we can do that, then I'll feel as if I've played my role, and I'll feel as if I've made a contribution to those successes. The success is never, always open. You always can be better tomorrow. That's what it's about, and I try this all the time. The main thing I would like to contribute to is being part of the team that makes Irish boxing the best nation in the world. Um, and we are capable of doing that. We are capable of being for such a small country. Um, we've got a massive fighting spirit. We've always had a massive fighting spirit. And now with the technical, tactical aspect that we've brought to it, I think we're on the right track um, to becoming the world's number one boxing nation. Yeah.